New season, same old Manchester United. And that's exactly the message that was passed on after the first game at Old Trafford with Manchester United's 2-1 loss to Brighton this past weekend. Fans were disappointed, players had lost their morale, and Eric Ten Hag's new era got off to one of the most roughest starts it could have possibly gotten to. What's up guys, it's Let's Talk Football here and today we look at if Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag can fix themselves this season or if there's no hope left. Today, we begin a new season and a new story. Eric Ten Hag wrote in his program notes ahead of his first official game as Manchester United manager. Except, it wasn't a new story at all. In fact, it was more of the same. After ending last season with 7 defeats from their last 12 games to sink to 6th place in the Premier League table, Manchester United began the new campaign with another loss added to that tally with a 2-1 home loss to Brighton. After the positivity of the first summer under the Dutchman, it was a harsh reality check for those who turned up at Old Trafford in hopes of witnessing something new and those who crave the new Ten Hag era. Easy top three. If I'm not 16th! Ten Hag may yet bring back the trophy supporters crave, but Brighton offered a harsh reality check that he and his new squad are in for a rough ride. Ten Hag became the second manager post Sir Alex Ferguson's retirement in 2013 to lose his first game in charge. After a shambolic first half against Brighton during which Pascal Gros scored twice, Brentford away next weekend suddenly looks very daunting for a rookie manager and a squad who appear to have the confidence of a three-year-old riding a bicycle. <laughs> Ten Hag alluded to this idea afterwards, insisting that the self-belief in his players had evaporated after what he thought had been a decent opening against Graham Potter's side. Though that observation did ignore how Leandro Tossard missed a good chance for the visitors inside 15 seconds, it can be said that United looked a little bit more awake in the first 15 minutes of the match than they did all game. Perhaps it should be no surprise that United looked just as vulnerable as they did last season, given that it is largely the same team. New signings Christian Eriksen and Lissandro Martinez started against Brighton, with a third Tyler Malassia on the bench. But Ten Hag is still woefully short of options in the midfield and up front. As is publicly known for the past three months, United have made Frankie de Jong their top midfield target this offseason, but the Dutch international is still at Barcelona, and in his absence, Ten Hag was forced to pick Fred, Fred again. and Scott McTominay as a duo in midfield, who both definitely had days to forget. McTominay in particular was perhaps lucky to escape the red card for the first half challenge, and both were substituted in the second half. In attack, Eriksen was pressed into action as a false nine, with Anthony Martial nursing a hamstring injury in the director's box and Cristiano Ronaldo not fit enough to start. Ten Hag was asked in his post-match news conference whether he regretted the system he picked, but he replied in saying, if a striker was available, I would have played him. He is a good coach. His record at Ajax is proof, but he is not a magician. While Manchester City, Arsenal have all strengthened over the summer, you can argue that United squad is now weaker, particularly in terms of numbers after the departures of Paul Pogba, Edison Cavani, Jesse Lingard, Nemanja Matic, and Juan Mata. When United needed a goal against Brighton, Ten Hag had to turn to 18-year-old Alejandro Garnacho off the bench, but saying that Ten Hag may need to take this route more often as the senior players are not stepping up to the plate and the youth players look more hungry than anyone in the squad. A certain Scottish man who ran the club before did the same strategy and look how United turned out. It may be Ten Hag's turn to employ this strategy and it may be ruthless enough to show that the senior players will not get the starting spot if their performances don't improve. And after the game, sources have reported that United are in talks to sign former Stoke and West Ham striker Marco Ornautovic from below. Bologna after Ten Hag identified the need for a forward who would be content to be used as an option off the bench. Big man thing, yeah? It's not looking good, Bev. It's not looking good. Ten Hag knows the Austrian international from their time together at FC Twente and is a fan of the 33 year old character and presence in the dressing room. Negotiations are also ongoing with Red Bull Salzburg regarding 19 year old forward Benjamin Sesko and it is vital at least one attacker arrives before the transfer deadline on September 1st. It's the same old story with United and the board as they scramble to find a player who is up there in age and will only provide a temporary solution. Even saying that Arnautovic doesn't seem to provide any solution in my opinion as the striker is not ready for Premier League football at his age. Oh Reports also came out in the past days that United are also in talks to sign Juventus midfielder and France international Adrian Rabio in another panic buy. Who? 
alongside Milinkovic Savage as Frankie de Jong's transfer replacement. But saying all that, it's again panic buy after panic buy and only to plug the holes for that little bit of time. There never is a plan B with United in terms of tactics, board management, or anything else surrounding the club, and that's what's led them into turmoil in the past few years. It's going to get worse before it gets better, and that's exactly what United fans have to tell themselves as Eric Ten Hag needs time alongside backing to really get the job done. But we've heard that similar story with Jose Mourinho, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and Ralph Ragnick and all of them have ended their stories in the same way with the boot out of the club man I'm gonna I'm gonna break my monitor I swear United fans have to remain hopeful alongside the board that Ten Hag can implement some sort of strategy into these players who seem to not listen to any manager at all and seem to be so entitled to their spot in the starting 11. He needs to be ruthless and he needs the backing ASAP. The big question is, is that will the board finally listen or will it be the same old story with panic buys on transfer deadline day? But let us know in the comments down below. Do you think that there is any hope for Ten Hag this season or will we see United back in even the next three years? Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we'll see you guys in the next one.